We're going to do a video on AAPL, Apple Stock, Apple Stock Analysis. And we've got a daily chart here of Apple with a blue 200-day moving average. We're going to show you an hourly, a daily, a weekly chart, some algorithmically generated entry prices from RBAM Research, and we'll show you how to get those for free at the end of the video, so stick with us till the very end. This is a daily chart of Apple. You can see it's approaching its 200-day moving average, which is sloping down, put in a bottom down here on uh, November 9th, and it's been rallying up here ever since. You can see that it's distributing right here. This is a classic distribution pa uh, pattern. It's not making higher highs. It's not making lower lows. It's, some people would call us a pennant, but it's just distributing. The market's uncertain as to what to do, and so it's distributing going sideways. People are taking profits through here, and it's a pretty big range. You can see 148 all the way down to, let me see where I am here, 148 all the way down to 146. Not that big of a range, actually, but it is distributing across there for the last week. Today is the 24th Thanksgiving, and uh, we've got algorithmically generated prices for you tomorrow for the 25th, which we'll show you in just a minute, but it definitely looks like it's distributing to me. Why is it relevant? Because we're right up against the 200-day moving average, and it looks like it may not be able to break through. Let's go and take a look at the weekly. And we can see this stock still in a bull, in a bull market on a weekly chart, and we can see that it's um, as opposed to the daily where it's, in, it's still in a bear. So this is a bull market in the weekly chart. It's put in a bottom weekly bottom down here at 129 all the way back in June of uh, this summer, and it's held that when it tested it here, and now it's rallying up. But you can see it's stuck between the green five week moving average and the red 20 week moving average. That's a negative sign and it's got to break above the red and get the green line above the red. That's a five week above the 20 week and price above both of them to resume any kind of rally if we expect to get one. And I'm not sure from looking at it that we are. Let's take a look real quick at an indicator that's going to regress this. It's a linear regression of this. It's a hundred bar. Let me see if I can get it to work. So this is a 100 bar linear regression, and this is a weekly chart. So we've got a 100 week linear regression here. And let's take a look and see what's going on. You can see that it respected it fairly well here. Definitely respected it here. Again, res little, you know, respect this two standard deviations. This is fair value here in the middle. You can see it definitely respected it along the bottom. And so we're approaching fair value here, which is right now about the 163 level we closed, where it looks like we're going to get a weekly high about 151, 151, 162-ish um, right now is the fair value. So you could get to 162 without a big deal on this. Um, but that's going to put us above the, the red um, weekly moving average here, this 20-week uh, moving average. So I'm not too sure about that. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to get through that. It looks a little weak. Worst case, we're going to probably break down here to about the 140s, in my opinion, in the next couple weeks. Um, and then we'll have to see what happens and see if it can break through. But again, trading range, it looks like from about the 150s down to about the 140s on um, Apple until we get some kind of resolution as what's going on. My gut feel is, let's go back to the daily. My gut feel is Apple's running out of steam right here. Here's fair value on a daily. And on daily fair value is about 145. We're above it. It wouldn't surprise me at all if we sold down to this this coming week, that which would be uh, today's the 24th. Next week, uh, starting the 28th, wouldn't surprise me if we sold down to the low 140s. That's no big deal. We're we're you know we're only uh, 149 was our low uh, yesterday. Let's take a look at the hourly. Again, we regress it. We can see respect down here for the hourly respect here and coming across and on an hourly, you can see we're in the lower about one standard deviation away from fair value. This would give uh, indication that you might get a little bit of a rally right up around here to 154. So next week, tomorrow's Friday. I don't expect much to happen tomorrow, but next week I expect this price to probably trade between the 155s and the, the one, I said 144 on the daily chart. I'm going to stick with that. There's probably going to be a $10 range in there next week until this can work out what it's going to do. My gut feel again is it's running out of gas. However, However, from a longer term perspective, the stock is above its 200 hour moving average, we put in a decent bottom down here, tested it. It looks like it almost, if it didn't, uh, very close to penetrating the, its, its uh, uh, bottom down here and put in a very good solid rally here on the hourly with big gaps through here. So my guess is it's distributing and I don't expect it to do much until that's resolved. So let's take a look and see what RBM Research says about it. We'll put an apple here. 
distributing basically means people are taking profits from that previous rally. We've got uh, for tomorrow, the 25th of November, we don't have any entry prices algorithmically. From a trend following perspective, we have a 30 day trend following. This up here is non trend following. This is an algorithmically generated trend following system for Apple. Here is buy tomorrow at 151 and 83 cents. Basically, this is uh, trading days, 30 trading days. Uh, buy tomorrow, assuming your own analysis says it's a good idea, all for entertainment purposes only. And then take a loss at the end of 30 days if you haven't made a profit sooner. So take your profits as soon as you get them and close out at a loss within 30 trading days. If you do not take a profit on the last day, you close out at a loss. Again, all for entertainment purposes only. You trade at your own risk. And this is just uh, all my opinion for entertainment purposes. Now, let's go down and take a look and see if you can get access to all we offer. 190 stocks, the major forex pairs, BTC, crypto when it's available, and the most liquid futures contracts all updated by 7 a.m. at rbamresearch.com. No credit card required to get a free 14-day access link in the description below you just follow it over there put in your email address and get instant access to all of our stocks and everything else we cover keep in mind everything you've seen and heard here including our enterprises and commentaries for entertainment purposes only you can't use it for anything other than entertainment you trade at your own risk and you should always do your own analysis if you like this video please click the like button if you want to subscribe please do that as well and if you have a great comment for us please leave it in the comment section below